For a year and a half, we've been talking about the chill can and how it's going to be made in Youngstown. Last week, we had pictures of the can, but tonight we've got Youngstown's first demonstration of how it works. First News anchor Stan Boney is live in the newsroom. Well, Mitchell Joseph, the CEO of the Joseph Company, which makes the chill can, sent me three cans to test out. Two of them actually have logos on them. Uh, there's this carbonated coffee inside of it. One of them says Demo Stan Boney, though we actually ended up using using all three of them in our test. What we did earlier today is we took the cans and we tipped them over and we sat them on a table and then we twisted the can to activate the chilling unit inside. Now here's what happened when we did that. Now, after it was activated, it took anywhere between a minute 10 and a minute 20 seconds to get the can cold. When it was done, it was cold, but it was not ice cold. The outside of the can did not show any visible condensation, but the top of the black cap did. You could tell that the can was getting cold. Now, the original chill can was activated by a button, but after the button was tested, the plan was changed. Now, following 18 months ago, our consumer focused test in Atlanta with Coca-Cola, we found out that the original chill can that was demonstrated with a button was a little difficult, especially with ladies with long fingernails. So we went back to the drawing board and we created the twist cap. Now the brand name of the drink is Physix. It is a carbonated coffee. I did get a chance to taste it and it was good. It tasted like carbonated coffee. Right now it's being tested in 15 7-Eleven stores in the Los Angeles area. The Chill Can logo is on one side. On the other side are detailed instructions. Six sentences worth on how to activate the Chill Can. They're also testing the price. Right now it's going anywhere from $2.99 to $5.99 a can. Now the cans themselves right now are being made in Los Angeles. Angeles, but hopefully they will be coming here to be made or the plan is to bring them here to be made and they hope to get that ready and up and done by summer next summer at this time. Now I also talked today with Mitchell Joseph about how the construction is going at the plants that are going up on the east side and I'll tell you what he had to say about that coming up tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live in the newsroom, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.